Good morning, everybody. Oh, man. Have we ever done this before where we start the vlog in the studio? Usually, I go out and film out in the out somewhere. Anyway, this is fun. I, it's fun to get in the studio in the morning and talk to you about these three numbers. And that's right. Those are the key numbers for the day. Once again, we're going with numbers. Why? Because yesterday I posed this question of the day. 47, so I'm going to call it there with the question of the day. Are you ready? Some, I would call it breaking news just happened in the running world. What is it? That's right. That was last night's question of the day yesterday. And a lot of you got it right. So you're very plugged into the running world. I'm sure if you are anywhere on running social media, you saw this news that Kipchoge, Elliot Kipchoge from Kenya is going to attempt to break two hours once again in the marathon in October. It sounds like it's and it's looking like October 13th over in the UK, likely in the London area. In fact, I'll just throw out the name of the park right now that I'm reading as a possible location. Uh, Battersea, uh, <laughs> Battersea Park. I'm hoping I'm saying that right. And this is amazing. And last time, so two years ago, have you seen the documentary created by National Geographic and really the project which was pushed forward by Nike. Uh, so the last sub two attempt was in Monza, Italy on an F1, uh, yeah, an F1, F1 race track. So race, a race car track. And it was Elie Kipchoge, uh, uh, Zerzenze Tadis of Eritrea, and then Elisa Decisa of Ethiopia. Those three athletes attempted to break two. Kipchoge was really the only one that was close. He ran two hours in 25 seconds he missed it by basically one second per mile and he was oh it was an amazing oh so if you haven't seen the documentary go check it out upper right hand corner that card that just popped out it's about an hour long very inspiring uh, a really well filmed documentary so they're going forward again they're, they're they're going forward i think this time though it's just kipchoge with probably a bunch of pacers around him and okay here we are uh let me just pull up some information Basically, I had never heard of this uh, company, Ineos. It's a petrol chemical company in the UK, and it sounds like this company has a lot of money, and it takes a lot of money to put on an event like this, and yeah, and to do it right. So, um, <laughs> it's just amazing. Okay, so I'm gonna read something real quick from The Guardian, which is a, a, a newspaper over in the UK. You ready for this? Okay. And this is about the location and the crowd size. One idea under consideration is to hold this uh, breaking two attempt in Battersea Park in front of a 250,000 person crowd. I don't know where they're getting that number. That would be amazing. I don't know if that's possible. Like, I guess if you think about it, like a, a marathon in London, you might get, what, a million people out watching along the entire route. I know New York City, I've heard they can get crowds in like the 2 million approximately. Anyway, 250,000 on a looped course would be out of this world. I'm just putting it out there. Okay, and then he goes on, as things stand, the Guardian understands that the preferred date is October 13th, a week after the World Championships end. So this year, the World Championships are in Qatar, over in uh, the Middle East, near uh, the United Arab Emirates, basically. And I think the start date is like October 5th, approximately. So it's probably like the 5th through the 10th, roughly. And then, so then October, no, it would be a week before that. Um, anyway, and the organizer had also confirmed that Hugh Brasher, the son of Chris Brasher, who helped pace Bannister, uh, in 1954 is helping with the planning of this event. So this is unbelievable. Um, let's see. And so Kipchoge is going forward again. Again, the key numbers for this vlog is 159 down in the comments. And the question of the day, we're diving right into it today. Do you think Kipchoge can break two hours in, let's, let's count it out. This is really important. June, July. August, September, October. We're talking five months. Can Kipchoge get so dialed in and get, frankly, he needs to get 25 seconds faster, at least, obviously, and then some to play it safe. Can't Will Kipchoge do it? And here's the deal. Before you write down your answer, we're gonna, we're gonna go back. So in October, we're gonna go back and we're gonna reference this vlog and we're gonna be able to go through 
and look at all of our predictions as to whether or not we predicted Kipchoge breaking two. D does he actually do it? That's the first part of the question of the day. Part two, predict his time. All right, I've been thinking about this all day and I don't want to influence your answer. And you have to consider like whether you have to consider and they'll probably have some flex flexibility to the dates like to find a really perfect weather day. There's a, so many factors that can go into this, but I'm going to say, I'm going to say <laughs> he breaks two. He breaks two. In my time, I think to play it safe, he needs to run at least two seconds faster per mile from what he did in Monza, Italy. So I'm going to say he goes 159.34. 159.34. Thirty-four. I'm gonna try. I'm gonna type my answer down below as well. So that's the question of the day. This is so exciting. And can you say my first trip to London? I cannot miss this this event. There's no way. I I gotta talk to True Love. We'll start saving money. I I gotta be there. I gotta be there. Right. And everybody in the UK. There's a lot of viewers. Shout out to you. It sounds like it's gonna be that weekend right around October 13th in London, most likely again in that park, Battersea. Park, which is kind of just south of downtown London. I looked it up on a map today. Uh, but yeah, if that's the right park that I'm looking at. This is crazy. I am excited. I don't know about you. Okay, I'm off to the post office, off to the gym to get my work on, workout on, and then uh, we'll be back. I'll break down how it went, and I'll give you an update to see if I hear back from the doctor on the MRI. Oh my goodness. I, I'm, I'm shaking already. I'm shaking already. I got to calm down. Calm down. All right, let's go. There you have it. All right, the last box of running shoes is now picked up from the post office. Uh, it felt like two or three pairs of running shoes in that box, which is great news. And yes, I will do at least 12 shoes tomorrow night, Wednesday, 7 p.m. Mountain Time on my Facebook page. We can't go live on YouTube right now, so to, uh, the Facebook page is down below. Click on that link, and then uh, you'll that's where we will go live. I'm also, though, I'm going to try to go live on Instagram through my phone. No guarantees that it's going to work. I've never gone live on Instagram, but I will also attempt to go live on Instagram as well. So spread the word to folks who maybe need new running shoes and they can't afford them or someone that, uh, yeah, maybe you have a teammate, maybe you have a friend or a family member that wants to get into the sport and they just can't afford to drop, you know, 130 or 160 bucks or whatever the case may be. So I can't wait. Uh, yeah. Oh man. And again, at least 12 pairs is going to go down. It's going to go down. All right. Heading into the gym now. Going for an hour. Let's go. I've got my phone right here. Just waiting for that phone call from the doctor about the MRI.
We'll take it. Not sure how far I went, but uh, that hurt a little bit. Oh. Uh. Bada beam, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom, how's that go? Rolling, there's my car, there's my car. I back from the pool, feeling good, got an hour in. Man, I haven't swam for an hour in probably 10 years. So I'm definitely feeling it in my arms. Uh, I gotta remember, and if you have any tips for swimming, let me know, but I just struggle a little bit with making sure my legs, I'm getting better all just in the last week, but making sure my legs are doing a lot of, as much work as possible because your arms, they just get so tired so quick. So anyway, I feel like I'm making progress in the swimming department, but went for an hour. You saw me breathing there at the end. Like, I don't know. I, I was, I was taking my heart rate just briefly, but it, it feels like I'm getting a pretty good aerobic stimulus. I know it's different than running, but um, it's definitely better than not doing anything. So tomorrow is a big day back in the pool, trying to just take as much weight off of the foot as possible. And yeah, yeah. So anyway, good day in the uh, cross training department. And oh yeah, uh, did you see yesterday's vlog? It was pretty fun. Here's a little quick sneak peek. Nike, paper five, four, no, 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 no. Uh, Nike Zoom. So in case you want to go see the full blindfolded running shoe test, go check it out. Upper right hand corner. We had a good time. It was hilarious. I, I almost don't know what to do with myself here in the studio because uh, remember we already asked the uh, the keyword and the question of the day again 159 down in the comments crazy again I'm, I'm going with 159 oh boy did I say I think I said 15934 I believe is my prediction for Elliot Kipchoge in London in October maybe we'll be there watching together who knows who knows okay not closing out the vlog yet a little more to do here today getting ready for tomorrow etc etc you know how life goes so let's keep rolling All right, just a little more landscaping on this fine evening. Uh, here comes the rain, so I gotta call it for the night. Oh man, by the way, someday, someday, I don't know when, I gotta talk to True Love, but we'll have a little, a little shootio party out here on our patio. This is our patio, it's AKA the carport. We hang out here all summer long. So we'll have a, we'll have a little shindig in Denver, if you know what I mean. Good times in the patio, on the patio and in the shootio, all right. Seek beauty, work hard, even in the rain, and love each other. Oh, London. Oh, man, I got to go inside and talk to you, love, about this idea. Getting excited. <laughs>